Hey everyone, I'm Julie Barrett with Conservative Ladies of Washington, back again with another, well, bills of the day. I want to give you an update about a couple of bills that I have already talked about before. These are two of the worst bills of this 2023 legislative session. They are Senate Bills 5599 and House Bill 1469. So Senate Bill 5599, just to recap, is the bill that would allow minor children to go to a youth shelter or a host home and receive uh, what the bill calls protected health care, which is uh, abortion or gender affirming care, which includes puberty blockers, medications, and including surgery. So they could go to one of these places and let the adults in these places know that they want these services. And the um, adults are prohibited from uh, alerting the parents and notifying parents. So it's already, kids can already do this without parental consent in Washington state, but now this bill would allow for no parental notifications, which is really scary if you're a parent that your kid could essentially go off to school one day, get routed to one of these youth shelters, never come home, and you have no idea where your kid is. You don't know if they're safe. You don't know what's going on. Very scary and obviously very dangerous um, and destructive for these children. Uh, House Bill 1469 is what they call the SHIELD law, and this is at the request of Attorney General Bob Ferguson, and this would essentially make Washington state a sanctuary state for people who are coming from other, let's say, red states who have more strict laws regarding abortion um, and gender affirming care, uh, they could come here and have these services um, or they would be protected from any kind of retaliatory laws that their state may in the future. I think this is sort of like predicting what's going to happen in the future. They would be safe here in Washington. Um, and so where this really crosses the line is with the minor children. And we saw in Texas, there was a dad, I believe the the mom took the child to California, I believe, and did some gender um, transition kinds of things. And the court ruled that that was okay because Washington, or sorry, California is a sanctuary state. So Washington is just falling in line with what California is already doing. Um, and both of these laws, uh, bills are very egregious. Uh, they're horrific and they are obviously destructive to the family, the nuclear family, which the left hates. I feel like parents, strong parents, loving parents and strong families are the biggest threat to the radical left Democrats. Um, and so they are seeking to destroy, destroy the family unit and cut parents out of the picture. Uh, so update on both of these bills, House Bill 1469 passed out of the uh, Senate uh, Law and Justice Committee on Wednesday night, and the uh, Republicans in that committee did a great job of fighting <laughs> against this bill and offering amendments that would make it uh, a little less bad, redefining the age of people who could come here and receive uh, this gender affirming care. Uh, and I'm only using that term because that's what it's referred to in the bill. I don't agree with that at all. Um, and they, none of the amendments that the Republicans offered were accepted by the Democrats and the bill was passed out of committee. And it will go now to the Ways and Means Committee. So it should have another public hearing with another opportunity for citizens to provide public testimony. And we will keep you up to date on all of that as it happens. And then today in the House Human Services Youth and Early Learning Committee, Senate Bill 5599 had its executive session where, again, the Republicans on the committee offered up a number of different amendments to make this bill less bad. None of those amendments were adopted by the committee. The bill was voted to pass out of committee. I don't know if 5599 will move to the Appropriations Committee where it would have another public uh, test public hearing or if it will go directly to a floor vote. So kind of watching that and we'll give you all of the updates. What can you do? Well, I am convinced um, 
Not that I wasn't convinced before, but after watching the executive sessions this week on both of these bills, I am convinced that they will be passed and signed into law. And I kind of uh, had this vision of, if you've seen the Taken movie and Liam Neeson is talking to his daughter on the phone as he knows that she's going to get taken. And so he tells her what's going to happen next and basically prepares her for the inevitable that's about to happen. That's kind of where we are right now. Um, we're going, these laws are going to pass and we need to get prepared. Um, for that. That doesn't mean we stop fighting. We don't stop emailing our representatives. We don't stop showing up for public testimony. We keep fighting this thing all the way. And then after we continue to fight, um, but you need to be prepared for this. And if you are a parent of teenage kids, especially, you need to be having conversations with your kids. You need to know the adults that they're interacting with and um, really monitor their social media as best you can. I know it's really hard. I'm a mom of teenagers myself, and um, it's it's very hard. Kind of once you open that door, it's it's almost impossible to, to rein it back in. But especially if you have younger kids, you can really, you still have time um, to shape this. So really guard your kids um, and, and protect them and the, and the adults that, that you are allowing into their lives to influence them. And, and here again is another plug for if you can get your kids out of the public schools, highly encourage you to do that. And I know that there are many parents who just for one reason or another just can't do that. And so I totally, I totally get that. But I think that our public school system is a pathway for these kids to be routed into this indoctrination and into these uh, youth shelters or host homes where they can be uh, coerced into having these procedures done. And it's very scary and it's very sad. So um, get close with your kids, communicate with your kids. Uh, we are looking into next steps. What happens after this is signed into law? What kind of lawsuits can we bring forward? So we're already um, anticipating that and working on what the next steps will be. So we will keep you in the loop on what we're doing with that. In the meantime, I'm going to put links in the description so that you can email your representatives and email your senators about both of these bills. They're both, each one is in a different chamber. So we're, there's two different links that I need you to click on for this and send them an email and ask them to vote no. I'm also including the number for the legislative hotline and you can call and they'll ask you what bill, you tell them the bill and they'll ask you know what your position is. It's um, a super, if you're a younger generation, you might not uh, be so inclined to make phone calls, but it's a really easy, quick phone call. Be nice to the operator. They're just the ones that are, are taking the calls. They don't have, they're, they're a neutral party. So just give them, they'll ask for your name, they'll find your district so that they can identify who your representatives are, and then you'll give them your position on the bill and, and so that you can tell your representatives to vote no on these bills. So that number is in the description. So please call and email. There's no harm in doing both. In fact, the more pressure that constituents can put on these people, the better. Um, and like I said, I, it's going to happen anyway, but we must go down kicking and screaming. Okay. So please take that action. Please share these links with your friends. Please share this video so everybody can learn about the latest and what's going on with these bills. Most importantly, we need your help. We need you to get in this fight with us. This is a long game. It is a marathon, it's not a sprint, and we need all hands on deck. So please consider becoming a member of Conservative Ladies of Washington. We are open, our membership is open for both ladies and men. We just started the men's membership on January 1st. So ladies and men can join us. It's $159 a year. That gives you the Conservative Ladies of America national membership, and it gives you the state chapter membership. Um, and that's like, what, 12 bucks a month. So, you know, if you, it's less than your Netflix subscription and we are working really hard. We're putting in a ton of time and financial resources into this fight to save Washington and to protect our children and to save our families. So get in this fight and help us. You can also make a donation uh, at, and I'll put that link in the description as well. If you don't want to be a member, but you want to pitch in a little something, that's awesome. And we totally appreciate that. Um, so conservative ladies of is where you can sign up to become a member. 
or you can make a donation and you can find our legislative action center there as well that has all of our calls to action on these two bills and many other bills that we are working to fight this session as well. So take action today and I will see you again next time.